game. I feel like those two other people might have. I don't know. And that's why, that's why I like you hear Zach saying that, like, I went against him, and, like, I know Amber feels like that. And I feel like I just made the biggest mistake. So, I don't know. And let's say that Dick and Danielle do, like, hold up to their agreement. That's fine. And we make Final Four. I will be the first to go on Final Four. Yes, I will. If they win it, I will leave and you will stay, which I know, which There's is fine. No way. There is no way. I promise you that will not happen. I uh, promise Okay. You. I promise you. For a, a million you reasons. You think either one of them would want to sit next to me in Final Four? It's not, like, to be insulting to you. Please don't take it that way. The two of them have been afraid of me since about week two. They don't want to sit against me and debate me in the finals. They will lose to me, and they know it. Mm -hmm. they, I promise you, and this is not like an insult of you, but the way that they are going to perceive it is that, remember, I'm the Philadelphia lawyer. I'll make <laughs> anyone believe anything yeah. or whatever. I will, uh, and not to mention the fact that, Jess, I'm not going to win. I know I'm not going no, to win. No, whatever, I, I will, I'll pull a dick. I'll act like a big fucker. If we lose HOH or the veto, I will act like the biggest fucking dick for three days if I need to. I don't want you to do that, though. That's the only thing. I just... Like, I don't know, just, I think I'm regretting the decision I made this week is why I feel like this. Can I tell you, like, you have done so incredibly well, so incredibly well, and I hate for you to feel this way because what you've accomplished so far in this game is incredible. And I know it gets scary and really stressful coming mm -hmm. down the wire, but you have managed to do well by everyone. Not anymore, I'm not. Yes, no, because uh, pretty much the only people that still like me are you and Jamaica. <laughs> that is not yes, true. Yes, it is true. That is not true. Look at it this way, okay? Let's say they liked you a 10, and now they like you a 7. They like the rest of us a two, so oh, they, still, they still like you a hell of a lot more than they like us. I hate everyone I spend every minute with, <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, you haven't been nominated. You ha are, have won the most HOHs. You well, like, oh. yeah. Honestly? You can do good the whole game, but then you make one decision, and it can ruin like everything you've set up. And that's what I feel I did. Okay. So, I don't cry about this. No, 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 I don't know. Get an hour. So it was an oh. emotional week for you, Jessica. Yeah, I know. I feel badly because I feel like... I feel like I should have... I wasn't as open to, to discussing all of the possibilities as I could have been. No, so that's all right. I mean, you know what you wanted, and I, I mean... I am ultimately made the decision, so, I mean, it is on me, Eric. I know it. Trust me, but... No. I know, I, I know that, like, I wanted. You. I tried to take the easy way out, and I think uh, it may have helped me in the beginning, but in, like, the long run, I think it's going to hurt me, so... Just to play devil's advocate for a minute, I meant having nothing to do with Dick and Danielle, there was a really important message, at least I think it's important, <laughs> in mm -hmm. my speech yesterday. And the speech was, no matter how many times Amber, Zach, and Jamika want to tell us that they're not threats to us, mm -hmm. and they're not strong players, and that what are they ever going to do to us? Yeah. There are seven people left out of 40,000, um, and each and every one of them, ourselves included, will do anything they can to get themselves or themselves and one other person yeah. to the end of this game um, and that's part of their strategy to make you believe that they would never do anything to you to make you believe that they're not a threat to you that they suck in the competitions that there's nothing that they can do about it um, Zach went up here and threw his two closest allies by a mile he's way closer with them than he is with any uh -huh. of the other ones of us and he threw them under the bus offering his votes, his safety, his promises, blah, 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 blah. Why? Because if he does that every single week to someone, then he'll never be the one who has to do it. 
Why should Zach never have to play the game? He should be able to go back and forth, float, lie, you know, cheat, steal to every single person, sell out every single person, repeat every conversation he ever has, and we should just let him win, let him go to the end. And Amber, and you know this, I, I, I don't want to be this person because you know I've been very bothered by this stupid back and forth and the shit she's pulled, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to say, you know that regardless of how you may feel about this, do you really think that Amber really likes you? No. Amber does not really like you. <laughs> and you do not really like her. No, I don't. So just because she's a good butt licker and then <laughs> comes up here and, you know, be, is your buddy once every, you know, five days or something like yeah. that. Um, that's Amber's game. And she played it pretty well, actually. She went to Dick. Uh, I had a, after you were sleeping, I talked to the two of them for a while. She Was I? Yeah, nothing. Like oh. super important. Obviously, oh. I was fill you in on anything that was important, but she, um, those nights that they were fighting, if they were, who knows if they were fighting, but who? the nights Dick and Danielle, oh, yeah. she went to both of them and sided with each one when she was talking to each one and played them against each other. Mm. And they went back, compared notes, realized what happened. But she would say, Danielle, you know, you need to get rid of your dad. He's bringing you down. This is all about you. Focus on you. He's been this, this, this to everyone here, blah, 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 blah. And then went to Dick. You know, we were really close from the beginning, way closer than I ever was with Danielle. And you know, we think alike. And I understand your point of view on mm -hmm. things and blah, blah, blah. And kissed his ass for an hour, telling him that he was right in the fight. <laughs> She's pulled a lot of shit with the two of us. And the thing that bothers me is it's never anything about the game. It's always on a personal level. And how is she going to get to either one of us? She's not going to say, I don't think you should trust Derek in the game. She's going to say, remember, you were worried about what was going to happen, and Derek's sneaky, and he's going to play you on a personal level and mm -hmm. make a fool of you. And everyone knows at this point, or actually, if they don't, I don't think they all do, but if they don't, they're idiots. There is now one way to get to me in this game in terms of how you want to rattle me or piss mm -hmm. me off. The one way to get to me is to pull shit as it relates to you mm -hmm. on a personal level, I will, you know, it'll drive me crazy. And I am so careful to not let on to that around Dick and Danielle because I know yeah. that'll be the next thing that starts happening then. Yeah. So I just make it out like I could give two shits or whatever. Yeah. But anyone, anyone would be retarded to not realize now that whatever, you make fun of me, it, it's yeah. claim, insult me, claim I'm a whatever. I'm not going to fucking care. But if you start, you know, going into things that have nothing to do with this or... It, saying shit about you, it's going to drive me crazy at this point. Um, and Amber goes out of her way. She played the two of them against each other, tries to play the two of us against each other. She repeats things people say, bashed the crap out of everyone when she spent time with Danielle. You know, um, she, just because she says she's a good person and just because then she pretends like she's so nice, yeah. I am telling you, she is desperate to do anything it has to do. It's just that that's the game she created for herself, so she has nothing else to do anymore mm -hmm. but to make everyone feel like, although I've been mean to you and a total bitch for three weeks, we've always had something there. So, I mean, keep in mind, just like Zach should keep in mind about me, I should keep in mind about Zach, um, Amber didn't talk to you for 40 days. Yeah. And when did she start talking to you? When she realized that I was clearly closer with you than I was with her, mm -hmm. and she realized, well, she has two choices, be with you or be against you, and she'd rather be with you. Yeah. Um, but to me, and please tell me if you, you disagree, or if you just want me to shut the fuck up and listen, because sometimes I run my mouth no. way too much. Um, to me, Zach and Amber want to tell you, and want to tell me, and want to tell everyone else, look, Look, I mean, we basically use this strategy also, but they want to jump up and down and say, look, there's bigger threats in the house. There's bigger threats in the house. They're going to come after you. They're going to come after you. Um, to leave us alone. We're uh -huh. not doing anything to you. And that is just giving them $550,000. Right. Because if we go after them, they go after us. You might be worried about being the first out in the final four right now. Mm -hmm. Well, if you fast forward it three weeks, then you're... <laughs> the fourth on the jury instead of in the final four. That's true. Um,